Hey guys, it's Serena from Catholic Apollos. Today I wanted to share with you a story of a person uh, who I'm really close with and this person is a saint and this saint's name is Philomena. Um, yeah, I'm really devoted to Philomena and she's one of my best friends ever. <laughs> and so um, this may sound kind of freaky, but um, actually it was really kind of God's will, God's God's intervening. Um, so first I'm going to tell you the story of how I became devoted to her, how I came to just really uh, call her my best friend, and then I'll tell you a little bit about her, her story, and then um, and then I'm going to do another video about uh, saying or giving her chaplet and her novena. How it all started was when I, uh, my boss was cleaning out his office and so he gave me a CD of Philomena. Uh, it was a talk by a priest and I don't remember the priest but um, it was a talk on Lighthouse Catholic Media and so uh, I listened to the CD the next day and I was very moved by the talk, I I just couldn't believe how s this young girl um, went through so much pain and suffering and torture for the church, for God, for Jesus Christ. After listening to that story, I googled her name and I read her story and it just so happened that that was the f that day that I listened to her story. It was the feast day of the name of Saint Philomena, so it wasn't her real feast day, but it was the name, her name, the feast day of her name. So that was no coincidence, obviously. Um, so after that, uh, I started reading books about her, um, or a book about her, um, by Father Paul O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan and uh, great, great writer. You've probably read one of his books already. He's written a lot, so um, I read that book um, by him about Philomena, and I read her stories and the miracles that have happened because of her intercession. Then a month later, I met up with a friend and a good Catholic friend, great, great Catholic girl, um, very awesome. She is a member of our my Catholic project, Catholic Apollos, and um, so I. We were just talking and she told me that her grandmother had um, brain cancer and lung cancer so that she was telling me that her grandma is now at their house and they're taking care of their grandma and um, watching over her, praying that she's, she heals. So um, she also told me that her grandma is really religious and so I asked her, um, oh who, so you know who's your grandma's favorite saint? Uh, she didn't answer me. I think she was like busy doing something and then uh, I think not not very Long after that I came to her house um, And then we were in her room and her grandmother was in the next room and so we were talking about her grandma again and then um, She just telling me about how religious her grandmother is how Catholic and strong she is and um, I then again I then asked um, like again how um, who's your grandma's favorite saint and so she didn't really answer me and then I just got to the point where I was just like oh how have I, have I ever told you about Philomena and then Miranda said oh that's my grandma's favorite saint <laughs> and so um, I'm, I'm sure you guys saw that coming so um, yeah we that we found out that you know that was her grandma's favorite saint Phil Philomena and then she told me yeah um, we have a statue of her in the other room with, with my grandma. And I thought, wow, oh my goodness. I started, you know, tears started forming in my eyes. I started crying and we went and we, um, we visited her, visited her, visited her, visited, visited her grandma in the next room. And, um, oh my goodness, why do we keep making mistakes? Visited, visited. It's a one word. Visited with two syllables. Vi three syllables. Visit. One, two, three. So we visited her grandma in the next room and we uh, checked out the statue of Philomena and it was a really big statue. It was like so big 
and uh, it's like a $1,200 statue and like maybe three and a half feet high, three feet. And so, um, so we took the statue into Miranda's room um, and we started praying uh, the novena to Philomena and we started to ask for her intercession to heal her grandma of her cancers. And so uh, we did it for about three to four days, maybe three days. And um, then her, we found out that her grandma had passed away and um, it was very, very sad. But um, we, when we thought, really thought about all this happening, um, we thought that it was just what had to happen and what Philomena wanted. Uh, I think we think that she wanted uh, to she wanted to have her devotion carried on in the family because if her grandmother died and Miranda had no clue about Philomena uh, you know probably they would have given the statue away or thrown it away or you know just her devotion that her grandmother had had developed and the relationship that her grandmother developed her grandmother developed with her over the years you know would have just been lost so um, we really think that Philomena worked in us um, and just really wanted to be heard and um, now we're, we're devoted to her and we love to tell people about her and um, you know don't think that just because we prayed and Philomena didn't answer our prayers f for her grandmother to be healed you know sometimes it's God's will and you know it's what's best and I think that you know well, everything that happened was definitely something that God wanted to happen and um, so it was it was really amazing and I hope that story inspired you guys to create a devotion to a saint and to um, to have faith and trust in God but to you know humble yourself and not be afraid to pray to saints and to ask saints for help because that's what they're there for you know they're they they were human they were humans. They were, they were just like us. They lived on earth and they died for the faith and they, they love God so much and now they're in heaven with him. So why not? Why not just ask them to pray for us? You know, they they want to help us. They love us and they really want us to, to be in heaven with them and to glorify God and love and worship him. So yeah, um, now I'm going to make another video about um, her story. So Hope you guys enjoyed this and I really hope that you guys at least check out Philomena and start praying to her as well. Um, at least get started with that. So yeah. God bless. Oh my goodness. Why do I keep making mistakes? Why am I so imperfect? Oh my goodness. Why can't I get anything right? Why can't I be perfect? We... we we visited her grandma in the next room, and then we, um, okay, this is cut three.